Marietta and it's Voltes 5 everywhere. I had to wear my Voltes 5 shirt with me and I'm going to enjoy this as much as I can. I'm thinking of doing cosplay, and this is my idea of one. A gun with rubber bullets. What happened to end you, okay? Focus on the target, shall If you think I should cosplay this, message down below, comment down below, or give it a like. I'll see what I can do. Okay, that was Voltus 5 event here in Glorietta. Now, after that, I'm now hungry, so I'm going to look for a nice place to eat. I'm looking for Filipino Spanish food, so we'll check it out. So, tara, kain tayo. I'll see you there. Okay, I finally found Hacienda. And there it is. It's a newly opened restaurant here. Hacienda ni Barrio Fiesta. So, it's open and I'm going in. This is Hacienda by Barrio Fiesta. Basically, this is their, their choice of food. It mainly consists of Pampanga food and Basically Filipino food. What I'm looking forward to is this one. That dessert. That's what I'm looking forward to. The prices here are reasonable. And too bad they don't have the chicharron chicken skin that I'm looking forward to eating. But they have chicharron bulakla. But I'm also going out tomorrow. Ayoko matama ng headache or high blood. Okay guys, I know it's for dessert, but I, the drink of choice for today is Sagot Gulaman. May init po It's very warm out. As you can see kanina, I was sweating like hell. Basically, gelatin with uh, tapioca balls in a very sweet syrup. Perfect thing to quench your thirst on a very hot day today. Okay, the first dish that came is Tokwat Babo. It's basically deep fried tofu with four pieces dipped in a mixture of vinegar, soy sauce, and certain herbs and spices. It is, it is the best uh, appetizer to start the meal. Look at that, it's so good. I'm gonna give it a try. Get a bit of the fat, get a bit of the pork. See that? It looks so good. Tofu is perfectly crispy. The pork is a bit, of, a bit fatty, but the sauce cut the fattiness of the pork and it's succulent. 
okay? So we wait for the other dishes to come. Okay guys, our second dish came na. It's basically supposed to be kajos baboy langka. But there is no langka. So it's technically called KBL. Now it's KBS. Sayote ang meron siya. Look at that. It's pork, knuckles, shin, boiled till tender with kajos. Kajos is a type of bean that can be found in the Bacol, in Visayas area. Traditional KBL is actually made sour with, with, with batuan. Yeah, batuan. But I don't know. Let's give it a try. That's good. That's good KBL. The KBS. Sayote. Okay, the next dish that came is fried lumpiang ubo. Basically, ubud is heart of palm. It's chopped up, sautéed, then eventually wrapped in rice paper wrapping. And it's accompanied with a soy sauce and vinegar dip. Also known as sinama. The next dish that came is calamares fritos. Also known as calamares. Basically, deep fried squid. Deep fried squid with a vinegar dip. Okay, the next dish is lechong kawale basically pork belly that is boiled to tender then deep fried to crispy look at that you can never go wrong with pork really no you can never go wrong with pork okay and the last dish this is pancit palabo also known as pancit malabon Oh no, Palabok uses the thin noodles. See? It's best eaten while it's so hot and the perfect accompaniment to this is the tokpat baboy. So, let's dig in. We try the pancit palabok first. Look at that. The yellowish color is coming from anato seeds or anato which makes it really, really yellowish with the addition of egg and seafoods. It's a document. That was good. You can taste the tinapa and everything else. Okay, next we will try the calamares. Look how crispy that is. We'll try it without the sauce. Just truthfully, I don't like it with any sauce. The squid inside is tender. The batter is just perfectly crispy. A really good appetizer. And now we will try the lechon kawale. Pork is tender and the skin is expertly fried. It's very crispy, very succulent. No, oh, I wish I can eat rice. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Paul P from Always Gotom Never Busog Travel Food Vlogs. I just finished my meal here in Hacienda by Barrio Festa. I found the food very delicious. And I give it a 5 out of 5 Always Gotom points. And I believe you should come here try the food and enjoy the ambiance. They have perfect Filipino music here. Old school Filipino music. And if you have any other places you want me to visit, comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya! Always go home, never episode.